everybody, I am Mara and welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who are new here, this is Confident Notions. And I am bored out of my mind today. Uh, so there's that. Now, as you can tell, Laura doesn't look the same as she usually does. Because I decided that I would do something a little bit different today. Um, I have done some terrible makeup application videos before and I thought why not do another one today. So today I will be doing a, I want to say not a get ready with me because I already did my hair, but I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree makeup video, try on video. So all of the items that I'm going to be using today are things that I have purchased at Dollar Tree. Um, some of them I have opened up and used, and but most of these are still in the package. So you're gonna get my complete unbiased opinion on um, all of these things here. Oh, wait, I'm missing something. Excuse me. I stress, I'm looking at my little pile. I'm like, wait, I have mascara. But I do, I have Dollar Tree mascara right there. Okay, good, now I'm good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so bored, like, I like Kev. I want to go out. I want to go out. I want to go out. And he's like, "No, you can't go out until you get a mask." I'm like, "God damn it!" So I'm like looking all over the place. I'm like, "What can I make a mask out of?" It's also probably because I've been drinking a lot of iced coffee today. Anyways, first up, um, I, as you can see, I haven't done really anything with my face yet. So this is Lara in the natural, my pale ass self. So the first thing I'm going to try, this is the Sassy and Chic Foundation. It said it is hot, it is, it is, it is. It says it is hydrating and moisturizing. And I got this in light one because I am pale, really pale. Um, I think it's Chris at Widow Mom Raising Two Sons. She really likes this foundation. She says it's fantastic. Um, I don't know. I've kind of gone back and forth between foundations. Right now I'm kind of flopping back and forth between this CoverGirl one that I really, really like. Um, I had used NAC for years, but let me tell you, this one cover girl, like, it is really good. I think mostly because it, like, matches my face better than, um, others. So this is what it looks like. It's not, I mean, it's not too thick, which is good. So where are you going to that some on? Oh, this might be too light. We'll see. Oops. I am not using Dollar Tree brushes or, or stuff. This is probably too much. I don't know we'll see how it goes i usually like a nice full coverage i don't want you to see my pores or anything like that um i'm using a probably this is a faux beauty blender that needs washed because um ugh. okay let's keep it oh, this is a little light for lara that's okay we get some bronzer in here i am not a beauty blogger vlogger yeah there's a reason why I don't do these kind of videos. So one time I did one of these videos and it was like a get ready with me, but using um, products that I bought at like Poshmark in the, in the UK. And it was like, literally, it was such a fail. It was such a huge fail. It was really, really tragic. Um, okay, that's not too, too bad. Um, I think it's probably a little light. Um, I do, like I said, I do like a full coverage <clears throat> that's not bad i mean i'll be honest with you it's not bad it looks a little light for me but you know i'm pale so okay all right all right all right okay now i do not have any dollar tree setting powder so this does feel a little wet on my face right now so i'm just gonna go ahead and throw on some other setting powder just to um, just to make sure that nothing moves anywhere. Um, this is NYX hydrating powder. So I did not buy this at the Dollar Tree. Sorry. Just a little bit of, to set it there to keep it from moving. Okay. That's not bad. I mean, that's not bad. Okay. All right. All right. <coughs> I think it was... A lot of people were talking about like this wet and wild like foundation that they that everybody was like losing their minds over and i think i got it at like five below one time and it smelled like play-doh now this does not smell like play-doh but like literally that wet and wild one was 
it smelled like play-doh and i was like i can't i can't have play-doh on my face all day anyways so the next thing i usually do is um some bronzer around here just for a little bit of contouring and for that i'm going to use the hard candy duo pack so this is the bronzer down here and this is the blush which i will use later and this is matte made in heaven um it doesn't have a name or any of it on there but i'm going to use this this tiny brush in here is is useless I, I don't know why like don't even put this in here i'll be honest like my cats love to play with this so i'll, I'll give that to my cat All right, in the meantime, let me get to bronzer blush, bronzer thing here. So usually I'll just, oh, she's this little prick. So I'll just do like the highlights and just down around here, just add a little contour, try to cover up my jawline, my sagging jawline, right? And so I'll do just a little framing and just brush, bluff it out a little bit. Um, this hard candy bronzer is not horrible um it's really it's really not um if you want a darker bronzer or if you are any darker than one shade past white like nearing translucent then it might not be bright enough for you but for me it's fine it's fine <coughs> all right Next thing up, I'm going to try this LA Colors Beauty in Bloom highlighter, and this was the one that I hauled not too, too long ago, and um, this is in the color Moonstone, right? So again, it's all different colors of highlighter. I don't think, I'm just going to swirl them all together, and we'll see what happens. All right, I get it out of the package. Probably should have gotten it out of the package beforehand, but that's what it looks like in person. So I'll get a little... Highlighter brush, I think. Let's just swirl this all around. Oh, is that purple? Oh shit, is that purple? Okay, maybe this doesn't swirl. Oh crap, look, if you look at it on the brush, it's got all the colors. I mean, my brush is dirty, but. Okay, you might wanna, you might wanna mix this up. So for the highlighter, I'll just do like right above here and sometimes on my nose, but Okay, yeah, you got you got to swirl this up because it will come out purple and you got purple face. It doesn't, it's doing a little bit, I think, right? Is that purple? God, I don't think it's purple. My dog's barking outside. Okay, back to the hard candy blushy blush blush. So we'll get that. I'll do the blush. This is a kind of a darkish blush for me, so we'll just on the apples of the cheeks. Okay. All right, not bad, not bad. Okay. <coughs> Moving on. So then the next thing I usually do, this does not look bad. Okay, Dollar Tree, all right. So next up, what we're gonna do is I'll do, I like to do my eyeliner first, and I'm gonna use this LA Colors uh, eye marker. It is in brown. It says it has a slim felt tip. So we shall see. Dog's barking outside. That's great. It's cool. She'll be fine. My daughter and her sitter are out there, so we're good. If I can get this open. Okay. So here, I'm gonna hair in my face. So here's what that looks like. I do like this felty tip a little better. Um, it's kind of it's kind of light, in my honest opinion. Um, all right, let's. I have you right here. All right, let's go ahead and do this. I'm sorry, this is boring, and this is a tiny mirror. I have a better mirror, but not here clearly. Okay, this is not bad. You know what? I gotta tell you, I've tried some Dollar Tree makeup before that was kind of crap. And this is not horrible. Like, literally not horrible. I went a little too far on that one. Okay. I am getting a little bit of bleeding here. Just a little bit. Um, you can see right here on this side, I get a little bit of bleeding. But it's not bad. Okay. <laughs> Pardon my hacking. 
All right, <clears throat> for my mascara, this is actually the mascara that I really like. It's this Wet n Wild Mega Wear, and it is by Wet n Wild or in the color black. I really like this mascara. Uh, I have tried many other mascaras. This one is like a light, um, it's like a very, um, it's not too thick. Like it layers well, so like you can build it up if you need to. I am not a fan of like big old, um, like, spider hand looking eyelashes so i don't need a ton I, I also do not do on my bottom um i also don't mind my bottom eyelid so anyways i just do the top and then i'll put mascara on i don't know i think oh jesus i'm dropping everything um okay i just made a mess on my face that's cool I told you I'm not a beauty blogger. Okay. Anyways, so I read something a while ago that um, you should not put liner on your bottom lid just because it makes it look dated because we all used to do that like back in the day. Um, but you can go in like a little bit right here on the corners if you want to and you want to like open it up a little bit. I feel like I need a little more over here. So anyways, I don't know if you've all seen that. So, okay, I really like this mascara. I use it all the time. I bought a couple of them. So, hands down, really like this one. <clears throat> all right, let's see, what are we gonna use for eyeshadow? I have the Hard Candy, this one here. I also have this Hard Candy palette, and I've got this LA Colors Beauty and Bloom eyeshadow. Mm. Oh, and I've got this LA Colors. You know what? I'm going to do the LA Colors ones. We're going to give these ones a go because they're new. So I am terrible when it comes to eyeshadow looks. Just absolutely, like, horrendous. Uh, so I didn't wear eyeshadow for years and years and years. I don't know why. It's something I never learned, and it wasn't, like, a big deal. Um, so anyways, that's that. And then I'll also open up... I think both of these colors will go well with it. This is in the Jammin'. Um, let me get it open. I can't get anything open. Right. And then this one is in the Firefly. So I hold these last week. So let's see here. All right. Um, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I need a neutral something. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to take some of this neutral right here for the for my eye. I'll just sweep that over the crease. Is it the crease, the lid? I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to go in with this one right here. And I'm just going to um go in here. I will tell you these LA um excuse me, this hard candy palette, in my honest opinion, I think it's a little, you get a lot of fallout from it. And I think it's a little sheer. So you, you kind of have to build it up if you want any sort of color payoff on it. But I'll tell you, it's looking much better today than it usually does. I don't know, maybe it's just the lighting or something. So let's go ahead and get that in there. Fallout's not too, too bad. It's very sheer, like very, very sheer. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna go in with this color right here, just in the corners, and let's see what kind of color payoff we get here. Let me load that up. I'm getting something. All right, okay, I'm getting something here. I'm actually getting, oh, all right. You know what, that's a surprise. I say, you, like, these LA color ones are kind of paying off a little bit better than I really expected them to. Okay, and a little bit more here. Yeah, I don't do like a dramatic eye look. That's just not, it's not my jam, All right? Okay, and then I'll go in with this here. I usually don't mix like cream and dark shadows. You know what, no, I'm gonna use this other one. I think this will work better. I'm gonna go in with this part of the Firefly and uh, see what happens okay this ow this isn't not nearly as um 
Ow. I don't like that. Okay. I don't like that. I'll just put this purple one instead. Yeah, those pencil ones seem a little hard. Like, it seems like I'm dragging across my eye, which I am not a fan of, so. How's the fallout? It's not too, too bad. Okay. Look, look, this is why I'm not a beauty blogger, right? This is not what Lara does. I talk to you about Dollar Tree hauls. I'll put a little bit of that white here in the corner. Just to brighten it up. Okay. All right. You know, this is not bad. This is a nice neutral look, Dollar Tree. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <coughs> Last but not least, lipstick. I hold some lipstick and I don't know where I put it, so that's fun. I do definitely have a Dollar Tree lipstick in here somewhere. All right, I'm back, found it. Okay, so this here, I'm gonna do, I got this from the Dollar Tree. It is a liquid lipstick from the brand Remy Rose. It is in the color Emily. I love a good liquid lipstick and when I saw these at the DT, I was like, hmm, girl, I'm gonna give this a go, see how it looks. So it's got like your classic little like deer paw foot um, applicator. Um, it's a nice neutral shade. So we'll see what this looks like on. It's not T2 neutral, which I'm down with. Um, I can't remember. I think this one dries a little sticky. Uh, it, it, it's a little flaky, but for the purposes of this neutral video, it's good. You know what, Dollar Tree, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. So, since I've lost all my male viewers, not that I had any anyways, because seriously, that is my Dollar Tree makeup video. Oh God, I can't do that. All right, <laughs> honestly, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. Um, I my face feels good. I don't feel cakey. I don't feel anything burning, unlike the those that I like color like lip plump and stuff that I used before. So this is not too shabby. So good do dollar tree. No too shabby. So um yeah, I'm bored. I just did my Dollar Tree makeup, so that was all good. And these are not bad products. So I will probably check in in another video and let you know how this lasted. And maybe once I actually like take a look in another mirror, maybe there's something missing, but overall this doesn't look bad. So anyways, that's it. Get ready with me, Dollar Tree makeup. There you have it. So if you like videos like this, go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button. That'd be super awesome. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.